Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, November 24th. Let's begin our day in prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, your grace and mercy abounds even in the midst of trials and difficulties. Help me to seek your kingdom first and to reject whatever would hinder me from pursuing your way of peace, righteousness, and holiness. Fill me with the joy and hope of your everlasting kingdom. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now just one quick announcement on behalf of the faculty and staff and the parish. We want to wish you all a very safe and happy Thanksgiving. And now our saint of the day. Today we recognize the martyrs of Vietnam. Between the arrival of the first Portuguese missionary in 1533, through the Dominicans and then the Jesuit missions of the 17th century, the politically inspired persecutions of the 19th century and the communist-led terror of the 20th century, there have been many thousands of Catholics and other Christians murdered for their faith in Vietnam. In 1988, Pope John Paul II recognized over a hundred of them, including some whose causes we do have and then some commemorations for those that we do not have. They are collectively known as the Martyrs of Vietnam. And now this day in history. In the year 1957, Cleveland Browns fullback Jim Brown sets a club record with 237 yards rushing. And in 1971, American D.B. Cooper hijacks a plane, extorts $200,000 ransom before jumping out of the plane over Washington State, never to be seen again. And now my silly dad joke of the day. As a lumberjack, I know that I've cut exactly 2,417 trees. I know because every time I cut one, I keep a log. And I would like to end our day today with a message of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a time of gratitude to God, our creator and provider, whose guidance and care goes before us and whose love is with us forever. Thanksgiving is a time to reflect on changes, to remember that we, too, grow and change from one season of life to another. Thanksgiving is a time of changing seasons, when leaves turn golden and autumns wait, and apples are crisp in the first chill breezes of fall. Let us remember the true meaning of Thanksgiving. As we see the beauty of autumn, let us acknowledge the many blessings which are ours. Let us think of our family and friends, and let us give thanks in our hearts. Have a great day, everyone. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. St. Charles Borromeo, pray for us. Peace.